people go to church and they say that they are saved. But what are they saved from? Pastors are killed. People in the congregation perish. And all bad things happen to churchgoers on a frequent basis. These people do not realize that they are already being judged. Judged by the Most High. In these last days, the Most High said trumpets will be blown. Seven trumpets will mark the judgment of the living on earth. People have been recording strange noises like this one in Kiev for some time now. Videos filmed all over the world have appeared on YouTube, the first in summer last year. Just have a listen to this. So what are you hearing? Well, we don't really know. Guys, what is going on? Strange sounds are being heard around the world. In Sweden, this sure sounds like a trumpet. In Michigan, another trumpet-like sound. We hear sounds coming from the sky. No one knows. Everyone looks up to the clouds and speculate. When we say no one, we mean the general public. Those in power knows what's going on, and the servants of the Most High also know. What's known as the so-called UFOs are the chariots of the Most High. The IFOs identify flying objects. They are the vehicles flown by angels. You won't see the term UFO in the scriptures. They are described as clouds, whirlwinds, or wheels within wheels. The government lies about this information. They consistently lie. They try and keep the population in the dark about everything. The chariots were made for two reasons, for deliverance and destruction. We have the wisdom and knowledge that we are promised a deliverance, but now we have an understanding on how it will happen. The chariots, so-called UFOs, have always been known to mankind. They're in many ancient paintings and sketches also drawn in the caves. When the Most High delivered us from Pharaoh in Egypt, he used a chariot to guide the way. The Most High sent an angel to lead us out of captivity. During the day, we followed the chariot in the form of a cloud, and at night, it was fire. We're living in an amazing time because the Most High is revealing everything to us. The world knew that God was dealing with the children of Israel after he took down the top nation and delivered us. As stated before, the Most High had the chariot guide us. When it went forward, we went forward. And when it stopped, we stopped to rest. And every time the chariot went back up, it was time to pack up camp and keep traveling through the wilderness to the promised land. During our journey, Moses received the Ten Commandments in a chariot. The law was given by angels to Moses. The chariots are throughout the Bible and all of history. There are numerous accounts when they've been mentioned. The Most High translated Enoch, meaning 
Enoch didn't die. He was taken into the spirit realm by a chariot. Elijah was also taken on the chariot. Chariots were there during the time of Alexander the Great and Yahawashah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. After he returned, he was also taken up in a cloud, and he told them not to be in awe, because later men will go up in the same way. But on a more personal level, in my entire life, I've seen two chariots and they looked exactly the same on both occasions. Once when I was a kid and once in 2012. I remember it looking like a huge star and making the shape of a rainbow and then disappearing. I've always been interested in the so-called UFOs. I've even made a full cartoon series about them. After finally waking up to the truth, it's amazing how ignorant and how brainwashed I once was. They weren't here to harm us, but instead they were sent to watch over us. The chariots, what people call UFOs, patrol the Earth. They are not falling or shooting stars, neither meteors or space jump. That's hard to believe anyway, because there are never any impact landings. Nothing can get past God's firm, the glass ceiling. The way they portray the chariots in movies are half true and half lies. There are no little green men driving spaceships. That's what usually comes to everyone's mind when they hear the term UFO. They've been brainwashed into thinking that. Five years ago, if someone would have told me that the angels of the Most High looks like a so-called black man here in America, I would have laughed at them incredibly hard and moved on with my day. But it's true. The Most High's angels look just like us. You should never judge a book by its cover. And look out for those brothers who are homeless. Be sincere, because you never know what form an angel could take. Many people have dreams of being abducted by black people in spaceships. But I remember in this dream that I was staring at my feet, that I was barefooted. And so when I raised my eyes, because in the dream I was looking at the ground and even wanted a closer look at it but then when I raised my eyes I saw a uh, a gate I said so I, I said I must be in, I must be in heaven and where I stood but I saw a gate and uh, on the other side of the gate it was like a whole bunch of black people looking at me and I had this feel of like they're looking at me like um, he, he think he's about to walk up in here or something but these people had ancient type of look, like they were taller, different kind of shapes, but they were all black. I didn't see anything else. As stated before, they put the truth right in our faces, on movies and in television. Only those with the spiritual eye can see it though. In the movie Black Panther, they were piloting the so-called UFOs, and they had technology that was way better than Esau's. They show the chariots destroying these cities on multiple movies, but they'll never tell you why. There are many hidden messages in the films we watch today. Where do you think they get their ideas? After waking up, you can easily see that these films are heavily inspired by the Bible itself. Look, you'll have to stop now. You're scaring the children. They should be scared. Oh yes, they should. Their beautiful, pure little minds have been corrupted with lies. Lies. All this talk of a modern God or no God. There is one God, the God of the Israelites, and he is a stern and vengeful God, and we have been mocking him far too long, and now he demands retribution in blood. It is time to declare yourselves. Take sides. 
the saved and the damned. Read the good book. It calls for expiation. Blood. Uh, what? Blood. Little Normie was first, and now God calls the rest of us? The bill is due. It must be paid. As, as Abraham prepared to sacrifice his only son to prove his love for God, so... Enough. Hola, Pasoda. Sorben. Raralha, ralbilif. Raralha, lagatla. Is that Orkish? How the hell you know how to speak Orkish? What do you say? Raralha, kin tradichev. Gorbili vuru, gurtuni luxa. Sor senum, sor hun, vi panaha. Kin ha benfa pari. Come on, man. What the hell is your problem? What do you say? It's not making any sense. I need to know if you're a cop first or an orc first. But they still try and cause confusion amongst the people. Japanese, Chinese, and Asian people are not the same. Although they look similar, again, they are not the same people. But they try to make us think that we are Africans just because we both have darker skin. All dark skinned people are not Africans. The so called African Americans are Israelites sold into slavery by the real Africans. White people ignorantly say Africans sold Africans into slavery when that's not the case. Y'all always want to say Jesus ain't coming back. But them African niggas didn't come save you either. Fuck what you're talking about. How many motherfucking Africans made boats and came to try to save your motherfucking black ass? Them niggas is pussy. You think if you came to my country and stole my people, I wouldn't have come over here trying to get my motherfucking people back? And then they go over there and they got, they gonna go and show for tourism. This is where we sold the slaves. And I go over there and blow all that shit up, okay? The first motherfucker I'm trying to kill ain't no white man. It's a nigga in Africa. Oh God. I go over there and shoot almost all them niggas that they didn't get in line. They'll get out or they'll fucking lay down. Cause them niggas betrayed the black race. That's how we end up in this situation. The reason I'm bringing this out is because black Americans used to play black people in these movies. Now they're using Africans to play African Americans in movies. And they're doing this on purpose. They're doing this to try to mix us all together. They are trying to make these Hamites the new Judah. What is this? Huh? What is this? This is your, your history and your nationality. I know, I'm Kenyan. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Obama. Obama. Right. What about her? Uh, She's Kenya. We're certain uh, Kenyans. Uh, well, okay. Hamites. Well, Hamites came. Right. Obama. Ham, Obama. Ham is the new Judah. Ham. God, Ham is the new Judah. Ham is the new Judah. Ham is, new Judah. Ham is trying to assimilate. Hell, they fooled me. I yeah, 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 yeah. That's, a, that's a, Sasha and Malia Obama. That's Americanized Hamites. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A, Deliverance by the chariots will be the second great exodus. No other nation besides the Israelites will be saved. Deliverance is for the one third, those who kept the Most High's commandments and got it together. And the cries of the innocent will finally be heard. The Most High would no longer hold his tongue to their wickedness. Sandra Blands, Freddie Grays, both them jeans, etc. We know there isn't much we can do without the Most High. We've been waiting on deliverance for so long. Each day we get closer, the Most High will execute vengeance for his elect. Various camps encounter angels and chariots while they're outside teaching. We know that they are there protecting us, so we stand up and face the demons boldly. That's an angel right there. Look. Yeah, where, where is right, right, right there. Look. Bro, what the fuck? Man, look how this shit just blanking.
The angels are these little gay, soft, effeminate men that mainstream media paints them out to be. They're not these soft Edomite Gerber babies either. The angels are serious. They have the appearance of a man with four wings and four faces. This is a visual description of what an angel looks like. The military thinks that they rule the air, but they don't rule a damn thing. The Most High gets the final say on what happens. They try to set rules over what or who can fly. The military has seen the chariots and followed them on many occasions. Their engine planes has nothing on what the Most High has. You're on the air. Hello. Hello, Art. Yes. Hi. Um, I, 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 I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um, well, look, let's begin yeah. by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not. Uh, Area 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? Uh, I, a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago. And, and... <laughs> I, I've kind of been running a, across the country, um, oh man, I don't know where to start, they're, uh, they're, they're gonna, um, they'll triangulate on this position really, really soon. So um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone, so give us something quick. Okay, um, um, okay, what, what we're thinking of as, as aliens are, they're, uh, they're, they're extra dimensional beings that, an earlier precursor of the um, space program made contact with. Uh, they, they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of uh, uh, a lot of aspects of, of, of the military establishment, particularly the Area 51. Uh, the, the disasters that are coming, they, the, the military... I'm sorry, the, the government knows about them. There's footage of the so-called UFOs destroying missiles and stopping Esau's destruction. Had it been up to the white man, he probably would have been destroyed this place a long time ago. UFOs have been seen in the oceans as well. There's even an ocean inside the ocean that man cannot penetrate. The water pressure crushes vehicles in the water once they go too deep. Those are problems that man cannot figure out. The UFOs, known as the chariots, they can do anything. You hear planes, you don't hear chariots. Chariots can stop in mid-air and maneuver. Planes cannot do such a thing. Um, the video is said to be taken over the weekend. Uh, then suddenly the light shoots up into the sky, there you see it. Another video from a different angle uh, appears to show the light doing the same thing. Those clips have gone viral now. It's insane to think the white man could stand up to the chariots of the Most High. Esau, the white man, is completely out of his mind. He made a space force to try and fight the Most High and his angels. You have to be on a whole nother level of stupidity to actually think you can fight God. When it comes to defending America, it is not enough to merely have an American presence in space. We must have American dominance in space. So important. Very importantly, I'm hereby directing the Department of Defense and Pentagon to immediately begin the process necessary to establish a space force as the sixth branch of the armed forces. That's a big statement. Esau's days of ruling are finally at its end. The average person don't know what's going on. They don't know what's coming. They're asleep in gross darkness. They have no clue about these prophecies that are about to take place. And those who've heard it simply don't believe. They don't even think the Most High is real.
We were foolish for Yahawashah's sake. They called us fools, stupid, crazy, and everything else for believing. But once the Most High comes with his chariots, the two-thirds and the other nations will be confounded. No one is talking about what happened in Egypt, but they will forever speak about how the Lord saved the children of Israel from the land of the north. They probably say something like, out of all people, the Most High came and saved these niggas? Those that built and fueled this wicked society will be saved. The meek and humble will finally leave their captivity. The glory will return. People will know that the Most High is real and that we're His chosen. Because of slavery, oppression, and shedding innocent blood on their land, Egypt shall be a desolation, and modern day Egypt shall be a desolate wilderness. They think this place is going to stand forever because of the technologies, medicines, weapons, etc. But they are in for a rude awakening. We will be delivered before he smites them with plagues. Egypt will mourn, just like they did in the past. Residents in eastern China woke up early this week to find the river that runs through their city had turned blood red. The other night, folks smelled something strange, and then the Wenzhou River turned red, blood red, and nobody knows why. In Sin City, it's the insect invasion putting on a show no one can escape. They popped up out of nowhere. A 24-7 onslaught of grasshoppers that really sticks with you. What the heck? Dude, you're all covered in locusts. I know. Like, you're just covered in them, dude. For many, the first impression felt downright biblical. A migrating horde of bugs so big, you could even see them from space. The Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. There will be no place to hide. The Most High will crack open the sky and his chariots will cover the entire earth and they will know that he is back to redeem his people, the Israelites. All the nations will cry because they know their judgment has come. They will try to fight the Lord with their weapons, but they will be destroyed with little effort. And it's funny to us, because in their Hollywood movies, they actually have themselves winning. Esau has one last trick that he's gonna try. He has holographic technology, meaning he can fake and stage events and people will think they're real. They already use it for concerts. Google the term Project Blue Bean, you can see how they plan on making things appear in the sky. There are strong rumors that they plan on faking the second coming of Jesus Christ. But those who are well informed will not trip over that stumbling block because we know the savior looks like a so-called black man. If a white man named Jesus Christ come in the sky, we already know it's fake.
who people love to call the Illuminati, those certain individuals know all about this. Illuminati just means to be enlightened. The elites, those in power, are just in the knowing, but none of their plans would work against the Most High. Esau swears falsely by the Most High. He does this by making Yahawashai a white man and calling him Jesus. He will be destroyed for this. They already know their world is about to be taken down by the Savior. Once the elect are beamed up into the chariots, all hell is going to unleash. We can only pray that we have a seat on one of them. The first time Yahweh came, it was to teach us how to love our brothers and give us instructions. This time, it will be utter chaos. And he will have many crowns because he will be taking out kingdom after kingdom. And during this time, World War III will be happening. And once the chariots come, they will stop fighting each other and try to team up and fight the Lord. It will be a war in the heavens. Their stealth jets, B-2 bombers, military vehicles, and drones won't be nearly enough. Esau will lose his kingdom once and for all. Those that encounter our lives for madness will be burnt to a stubble and we will rejoice, finally. Hell is not a place. The lake of fire will be us looking down at the earth burning. So stay doing the work, continue to fast, pray, and keep the commandments. None of it will be in vain. Stay in the spirit and continue to try to earn your spot on the Most High's chariots. Shalom. Shalom Israel, Shalom, Shalom. It's Brother Nakbarm with the Watchman for Israel. Giving, of course, all honor and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Mashiach, Wamalak, Yahushai. We live in a new time of the end. The society's falling apart. These world governments, they're falling apart. The economy's collapsing. You got famines happening, pestilence, disease outbreaks, rumors of wars leading up to global conflict, ICBM missiles being built. You got Esau falling, you got Israel waking up. You got all hell breaking loose. And if you don't know you're living in the last days, then I don't know what world you're living in, right? Because you're living in a time of the end that the most I spoke of. And you have to be circumspect and aware and navigate your spirit to your how about shine these last days, right? You gotta come out of this world, you gotta come out of these sins that you're struggling with, you gotta come out of them demons that you entertain, that fully engulf yourself in these living waters in the last days. And if you don't do that, you won't be you won't be beamed up on a chair, right? Right, when the chariot is beaming up all of the elect of Israel, you're going to be sitting there with weeping and gnashing of teeth because you were not on fire these last days. You gave heed to these spirits, to these seducing spirits, doctrines of devils, and these demons. All right, you in these last days are going to receive this salvation. All right, that's why the Most High woke you up, not for you to be destroyed, for you to hope and help, man, to be delivered. All right, that's why we wear our fringes. That's why we go out there and teach. That's why we love our neighbors. We love ourselves. That's why the sisters put on a headband. That's why they put on the dresses because we hope that something greater than what we have here, man. I mean, what, what do we have here? All right, what, what are you going to do in society? What are you going to wait for the government to provide a solution for your people? What are you going to wait for the other nations to come and help you? Nobody's going to come and save the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans except the Ahawah, Shema, Mashiach, Amalek, Yahushua. You gotta save yourself by repenting and keeping these commandments. All right, if you don't do that, then you're gonna fall. All right, it's gonna be a great fall in the land of your enemies. So you got two options, Israel. You can choose death or you can choose life. You can face the wrath of the Most High and be destroyed in the land of your enemies, 
or you can pray fast, be on fire, and serve your Hawa Bashmi Oshai diligently. Diligently. Whatever you're doing, if you're praying, pray more. If you're studying, study more. If you fast, fast more. Because the Most High surely coming to reward every man according as his work shall be. Whether or not God, watch you for Israel. Giving our honor and glory to Yahweh by Shema Mashiach, Bamalak Yahweh Shai. Shalom. Stay strong in the faith, Israel. We are on side of it. Shalom.